The greatest threat to the existence of this planet came not from without, but from within. Not from outer space, but from deep within the Earth's core. There, for thousands of years, the Sloth people have dwelled. Dwelled in a kingdom ruled by their leader, King Glor. My people! The time has come for us to conquer the beings who live on the outside of our planet! This will be easy, for they are fat and lazy creatures. And we shall make it even easier through the power of... Procrastination! Mm. Procrastination is the act of putting things off until a later time. It's the finest way man has invented to get absolutely nothing accomplished. Oh. Here we see a demonstration of world-class procrastination. <sighs> Garfield, please take out the trash. I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, and you were supposed to clean out the garage. I'll do it next week. And I need you to take a package over to Aunt Ivy's house. I'll do it the century after next. <sighs> putting things off and putting them off and putting them off. Mm -hmm. That is procrastination at its finest. Even now, all across the surface world, our transmission antennas are rising, sending out the procrastination rays to every corner of my planet. Rays that will increase to the maximum everyone's tendency to procrastinate. Cosmic energy bombarded the Earth, instilling in every man, woman, and child a deep sense that everything can and should be done at another time. Huh? Hey, you're a fireman, Bob. Don't you have a fire to put out? Yeah, but I'll do it later. Soon, the state had come to a complete standstill, prompting the governor to call a press conference. With no one accomplishing anything, we have a major crisis. In order to get to the bottom of this, I'm appointing a special committee. One of these days, no much matter. Nobody showed up to hear me anyways. I think I'll just go home and do nothing. Maybe do that later. With the surface world paralyzed, King Glorm began sending his sloth people to seize control of the exterior world. Conquering the surface people will be simple. They won't even lift a finger to fight back. Is there no one up there who will do anything now? No one! <laughs> well, there is one possibility. <laughs> the procrastination ray makes everyone into a total procrastinator. <laughs> However, if there is someone who already was like that, it will transform them into a total non-procrastinator. <laughs> but how could there be anyone who is that lazy? <laughs> No, I am not going to... And even as the ray transformed the puppy into a procrastinator, it changed the cat into the exact opposite. Yes, I will throw the stick, and I'll throw it now, now, now! Go get it, boy! Go fetch the stick! 
What do you mean? You'll fetch it later. I can't worry about that. I have things to do now. Garfield became the most ambitious creature on the face of the planet. He took out the trash. He cleaned up the garage. He even took John's package over to Aunt Ivy's house. Don't say anything. You're not really in this episode. I'm not due for dinner for three more hours, but I think I'll have it now. One of the advantages of not putting mm -hmm. things off. <laughs> but Garfield now seemed to be the only one who felt that way. I was going to make a pot roast, but I'll do it <sighs> later. No, no, now! Do it now! Ooh. Besides, I can't go to the market. My paycheck hasn't arrived. Paycheck? I'll get it for you. The mailman wasn't delivering the mail. I'll get around to it sooner or later. Probably later. How am I going to get anything to eat? I know. Vito. Even Vito the pizza maker was? Well, you know where this is going. Ah, my little pussycato. I shall make you not one, not two, but ten delicious pizzas. Yes, yes, go. Do that now. Yes. As soon as I return from my vacation in Italy. John won't do anything. Odie won't do anything. The mailman won't do anything. Vito won't do anything. What has caused this? The cat pondered the problem, unaware that its cause was but blocks away. What? How could he have imagined that King Glorm and the sloth people from the center of the Earth were at the park at that moment, flocking to the surface, massing to begin the total conquest of the world? Sloth people? Conquest of the world? Oh, tell me more. They had used the procrastination ray to... I'll tell you some other time. No, tell me now. Even the narrator won't do anything. I said they were at the park. Before nightfall, the people of Earth will be our slaves. What good are they? What do you mean? Earth people don't do anything. What good are slaves who don't do anything? Yeah! I hadn't thought of that. Oh, I know! Once they are our slaves, I can push this button to reverse the procrastination rays and make them useful. Oh, yes. Hail Glorm, ruler of the world! <laughs> so, let us enslave the surface dwellers, and then I shall push this button! Here, Smiley, I'll save you the trouble. An Earth creature actually doing something! Seize him! <laughs> Let's see, he said to press this button. Hey, I'm going to prepare dinner. And while I'm cooking, I'll throw the stick so you can fetch it, Odie. I can do two things at once. I can do ten things at once. Mr. Arbuckle, I brought your mail. Your paycheck's in here. Everywhere he ran, the brave cat was pursued by sloth people. Hey, it must be working. My narrator's back. He ran as fast as he could, but soon he was trapped. Uh-oh. Like he said... Give me the device, and then we will destroy you. Wonder what happens if I press this button that says, Procrastination raise for our side. <laughs> This creature will be eliminated!
Ah, but we could do that later. Wow! Nice of them to label this thing like that for me. We shall conquer the surface world! But we'll do it in a few thousand years from now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and so the sloth people and their leader return to their city at the center of the earth, not to be seen again for a long, long time. Hi, Odie. Looks like I saved the world again. And I guess this episode is just about over. All we need is the closing joke. The closing joke. We always like to end these with me saying something funny. So the writer's gonna send over a line for me to do. I should be here any minute. Yep, any minute now. <laughs> Probably on its way. Boy, I hope he didn't put it off. I don't know about putting things in my life. A comic book shop actually wants me there today to sign autographs. They probably just want to see if you know how to write your name. <laughs> Shh! It's my Cape Avenger costume. Just in case there's a world crisis or anyone wants my autograph. The shop's up ahead, guys. I'll bet there's a line all the way around the block of fans who want my signature. time is the line around the block getting here? I just love ultra-powerful guy comics. I can't understand it, Mr. Arbuckle. I advertised for weeks that you'd be here. I thought everyone who loves your work would show up. We are all here. They didn't turn out for you. They didn't even come to see the rarest comic book in the world, ultra-powerful guy number one. <laughs> I thought people would come to see it if I had a copy on display. Isn't that worth like a million dollars? It sure is. The guy who loaned it to me insisted I hire a security guard to stay and watch on it. But it didn't draw a big crowd either. Aren't there a few people in the store? Just a few and not enough. I've run out of ideas to attract customers. Looks like I'm gonna have to go out of business. I know what this store needs. Yes, it needs excitement. It needs celebrity. It needs an appearance by the most super of all superheroes. <laughs> the Cape Avenger. Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. Hey, no snickering about the costume. Last week at a convention, I bought the entire run of Colossal Mystery Comics, 425 issues, all in mint condition and sealed in plastic. <laughs> if they're sealed in plastic, how are you going to read them? Read them? I got my whole life savings in this place, and I'm not making enough to pay the rent. Oh, don't worry, Rupert. Something will change. Fate will just walk through the front door. I'm here! <laughs> 
Okay, well, now I'm over here. It is I, the Cape Avenger, 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 Avenger. It's a real life superhero. It's an overweight cat in a bad costume. Right both times, men. And now I will. Hey, whatever that was, I didn't do it. It sounds like it came from outside. My front window with the million dollar comic book. I repeat, I didn't do it. Not my fault, whatever it is. It's gone. The copy of Ultra Powerful Guy number one is gone. I'll call the police. Odie, be careful of that broken glass all over the sidewalk. Hello? Uh, I'd like to report a robbery. A very expensive robbery. Huh? How am I gonna pay for that comic book? I'm ruined. All right, let's run through this one last time. Yeah, it's like I said, officer. This guy in a costume, he looked like a super villain. Ran up outside the window and used some sort of superpower hammer thingy. He broke the window, knocked me out, grabbed the comic, mm. and disappeared. I see. You think you could describe him well enough that our police artist could make a sketch of him? I'll try, but he was wearing a mask. Odie, huh? this looks like a job for... Fanfare? <gasps> the Kate Avenger! Avenger, Avenger, Avenger! Where's my trusty sidekick, Slurp? Oh, hi, trusty sidekick, Slurp. Where's your costume? Well, then dream one up. Use your imagination. How many times do I have to tell you the sidekick can't have a better costume than the hero? No time to change. There's a super villain lurking about. Let's roll! You're probably wondering if there's an origin story for the caped Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. Well, there is. Criminals are a superstitious, cowardly lot, so my disguise must be able to strike terror into their hearts. I will base my costume on the next thing I see. Senor, huh? here is the pizza you ordered. Of course it will scare everyone. It has anchovies on it. <laughs> All right. Better? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's find a despicable repulsive supervillain to defeat. <sighs> because that's what feels like us do. That's why. Nope. No despicable repulsive supervillains around here. Let's eat. Kate Avenger! Kate Avenger! No autographs. And you forgot my echo. There's a despicable, repulsive supervillain robbing the bank! Leaping lasagna! Wait, did you say he was despicable? Yes! And is he repulsive? Very! This sounds like a job for the, the Cape, Cape Avenger, 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 Avenger! He's also very dangerous! This sounds like a job for the Cape Avenger's sidekick! <laughs> Call me after you defeat him, I'll be in Bermuda. Cape to Venger, Venger, Venger. I just robbed the bank you keep your money in. What are you going to do about it? The thing any self-respecting superhero would do? Move my money to another bank. <laughs> no, it's too late. He's already stolen my money. We have to get it back. Onward, overdressed sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna give up? No. Even though I have incredible speed? Watch this. I'll run completely around the world. <laughs> Sorry I took so long. There was a traffic jam on a highway in Luxembourg. So, wanna give up now? No. Even though I have incredible strength? Watch as I lift the heaviest object around here. Me. <laughs> John was right. I need to lose a few pounds. Would to give up now? No, I think I'd rather do this. I think I'll give up the part about arresting supervillains and just wear the suit and look cool. Odie, I came through the wall this way and the bricks are out here. Odie, I think I solved the crime. 
Yes! Crashing through that wall like that reminded me of a story I once read in an issue of Ultra Powerful Guy. Come on! Ultra Powerful Guy, Ultra Powerful Guy. Ah, here they are. Now, which issue was it? Nope, not this one. No, not this one either. Wait, I think this is it. It is! Come on! I'll be honest with you, Rupert. The chances of us finding this supervillain and returning the comic book are very slim. So are my chances of staying in business. I have to go back to the police station. Wait! Wait. Superhero to the rescue! I don't have time to read comic books. Here, read this. Read these panels. What are you trying to get me to... Ultra powerful guy says when a window is broken, the pieces of glass travel in the same direction as the impact. Since the shards of glass were on the outside, that means the window was broken from the inside. That's right. The pieces of glass were on the outside. Which means whoever broke it did it from the inside. Uh, uh oh. Stop that man! Let's go! Somebody stop that guy! He won't get away! <laughs> Any idea which way you went, faithful sidekick? Thanks to your super-powered nose, we're on that trail. Sally is a dead end, but if he comes this way, he can use this board to get over the fence. Huh? I think I lost him. Get him out of this yard. They'll never catch me. Another job well done by the Cape Avenger, if I do say so myself. And apparently, I have to. guard confessed. Oh, thank you, officer. <laughs> Don't thank me. The cat is the one who solved the mystery. <laughs> yeah, I did. I feel like that really good-looking blind guy in the cartoons with the big scared dog. Why so glum, Rupert? You got back the comic. Yeah, but I'm gonna lose the comic book store. Nothing I do gets customers in here. Excuse me, is this the place we heard about on the news? Where the superhero foiled a comic book robbery. It is! There's the Caped Avenger! Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. Looks like you have customers. <laughs> Lots of them. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Hey, Batman, eat your heart out. Hey, don't, don't crowd. There's enough of me to go around. but I'm famished. Oh. <laughs> I'm always famished. You have your choice of lasagna, or lasagna, or lasagna, or lasagna, or lasagna. Oh, and here we have, what a surprise, lasagna. Hmm, it's a tough choice, but I think I'll have, uh, oh, lasagna. <laughs> Gee. I wonder who repacked my picnic basket. I am adorable. Adorable, am I? I wonder what the opposite of adorable is. Oh, yeah. It's 
Bruno. Hiya, Bruno. Sorry you're not as cute as I am. Then again, who is? Whoa! What do you mean? I mean, face reality. I look like this, and you look like this. Oh! Whoa! Help! Help! Raw jealousy! Right behind me! Whoa! You're gonna get it this time, normal! Somehow, Garfield left us one can of dog food for you, Odie. I'll get him later. Now, let's see if you know who left me anything to eat, which I doubt. <gasps> Dr. Puzzle, welcome fellow fiends and nefarious colleagues to the third annual Evil Mastermind Convention. Yeah. <laughs> now, how many of you are planning on conquering the world? Could I see a show of hands and tentacles? Uh -huh. Looks like most of you. Well then, you'll be most interested in the latest must-have accessory for world domination. The Retro Switcheroo Laser Gun! Yes, this ingenious device will cause two people to trade personalities. Please give a warm welcome to my nemesis, Secret Agent 00-nothing. He will be the unlucky test subject. And over here, we have a frog. I will set the Retro Switcheroo for a complete personality exchange. <laughs> yes, certainly. I'd like to get some dead flies, please. Shaken, not stuffed. <laughs> But now, let me demonstrate on two random creatures I shall select with my scopotronic device. Oh, we don't need our test creatures anymore. Keep eating like that, Garfield, and you'll never be adorable like me. I don't want to be like you, Normal. I want people to be able to stand me. These two will be fine subjects on which to conduct my demonstration. How come I never realized how cute and adorable I really am? Oh, meow. Mm. Lasagna. Hello. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, yes. Yep, right up. We accept cash, credit cards, and checks if you have your evil scientist's ID card. I want two. One to conquer the world with, and one to switch my lawyer's personality with a snake's. How will you know the difference? It looks like it's up to me to stop this insidious Dr. Puzzle. But I'm going to need help. Oh, I can't stand that little twerp always saying, I'm the cutest kitty cat in the world. He isn't. I'm the cutest kitty cat in the world. <laughs> Face it, Bruno. Some of us are cute, and some of us are not. You are not. You. You're acting just like normal! <laughs> I am not acting like normal. I'm adorable, and I'm cute, and I'm acting like normal! <laughs> I'm acting like normal! I must be! I'm starting to make myself sick! Normal! 
Oh, it's you, Garfield. I thought it was someone. Normal. We've exchanged personalities. Oh, big, fat, hairy deal. I said when I get my paws on you, Normal. Help! Put me down! Help! Dr. Puzzle, can the retro switcheroo laser gun swap personalities that have already been swapped? I don't see why not. Let's give it a try. <laughs> I don't want to pound normal. I want to eat lasagna. All right, Bruno. You're in for it now. Whoa. Help! Save me! Ooh, while you're at it, feed me! Normal's acting like Bruno, and Bruno's acting like me. I don't understand what's going on. Hey, you, sitting there watching this cartoon. You must know. Why don't you just fill me in? I'll what? tell you why you and your friends are acting so oddly today. Good. And also tell me why someone as cute as me is talking to a frog with an English accent. We've all been subject to Dr. Puzzle's huh? personality swapping huh? device. Mm. How do we undo it? I don't want to be like Nermal. Mm. I'm this close to milling myself to huh? Abu Dhabi. Get the little cat and come with me. We must hurry. What? Come on, Nermal. Or Bruno, or me, or whoever you are at the moment. I need a nap. <laughs> no, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. That's the secret lair of Dr. Puzzle. Soon, fellow evil scientist, I shall deliver the inventions you ordered. Then each of us will conquer this planet. But there's only one planet. How can we all conquer it? <laughs> You're evil scientists. You figure it out. Wait, we have intruders to deal with. Guards, seize them and feed them to the sharks. Hey, it's kind of handy for normal to have Bruno's personality. Have I mentioned how adorable I am? Sixty-eight times and counting. And now, I'm gonna take care of all of you! Personalities stored in the retro switcheroo. I will give you all the personalities of frogs. I don't want to be a frog. Oh, it's what? not so bad. <laughs> What do we do now, Frog? How do we get our old personalities back? How? Could it be? Am I me again? The destruction of the machine seems to have undone its effects. You must be pretty happy to be you again. Certainly. You try eating flies all afternoon? Yuck! It's almost sundown, guys! Time to start heading for home!
So because of that evil scientist, I was acting like normal, and normal was acting like me, and then Bruno... But now, I'm me again. And that's great because me is the cutest creature on this planet. There he is! Oh, don't hurt me. I have a cat show tomorrow and another one on Thursday. When I get through with you... <laughs> that evil scientist? No, I'm not worried about him. <laughs> now, if I was a fly, I might be worried. Mm -hmm. Don't hurt me! You! <laughs> Cooking. Oh, hi Garfield. Huh? You probably noticed I'm not cooking. What? <sighs> I will in a moment. <laughs> it's just that sometimes <laughs> I like to come out here and look at the stars. They're so peaceful. They're so beautiful. <gasps> look! You see that? It's a shooting star! Wow! You know what a shooting star is, Garfield? It's a meteoroid that's entering the Earth's atmosphere. Great, let's do dinner. <laughs> That was terrific! I wish I'd been up at the observatory watching it through their big telescope. Dinner on the table! Dinner on the table! Dinner on the table! Uh, Professor Bonkers, did you see the shooting star? Yes! A meteor from the Beta Blue Space Quadrant. Radar says it was down to the size of a gumball, and it landed in the North Hills. Beta Blue, you say? Some scientists claim that meteors from Beta Blue have regressive powers. They say anything that comes into contact with one is turned back into its prehistoric form. Yes, Gertrude. I'm hiking up here in the North Hills. It's very invigorating out here, and I'm having such a good... <laughs> I just found something odd, Gertrude. It's some sort of glowing rock. It's like a meteor or a... I was saying, Gertrude, it's very invigorating up here. Really, really brings out the caveman in you. I'm sorry I didn't cook dinner earlier last night, guys. Maybe lunch at Vito's will make up for it. Works for me. Oh, gum. I can't stand people who chew gum and just discard it and make a mess. Isn't that awful, Garfield? That's so rude. Away! Away, you get out of my restaurant, you pesky flies! All of you! Ah, Senor Arbuckle! Welcome to Vito's! Thanks, Vito! Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. Huh. Odie, come in and join us as soon as you get that gum off your paw. My cat will have the left side of the menu. <laughs> Excellent choice. Excuse me, waiter. There's a fly in my soup. Oh, one moment, senor. And the right side of the menu. One of our most popular sides waiter, of the menu. There's a fly in my soup. Un momento, senor. Uh, please. Anything else, Garfield? 
Oh yes, the back of the menu. <laughs> One of my specialties. I still have this fly in my suit. Senor, can you not see I'm busy with another customer? Tell me, what is a big deal about a fly in your suit? Well, he is rather large. <laughs> You need a swatter the size of a football field. I'm gonna call for help. This is a Vito, a Vito's Pizzeria. I would like to report a monster. Thank you. He'll be here in two seconds. One, two. <laughs> what took them so long? What's this monster you reported? It's a fly. All right. Huh? No, officer. It's a monster fly. It's huge and it has razor sharp teeth. And it could eat more than I can. Ah. I should run you all in. Huh? Huh? Next time, I'll just order a salad. I shall go prepare the left oh. side and the right side of the menu. Don't forget the back, that's the best part. Garfield, where's Odie? Odie! Whoa. Odie! Here, boy! Hmm. I wonder where Odie went. Odie! We're being drenched in doggy drool! We need help! Help! Super-sized slurp! Help! 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 Ah! Ah! Exactly what I said. Uh huh. I see. Okay, thanks. Now it's a giant <laughs> puppy dog. <laughs> Attention, all units. We have a report from a guy in Vito's Pizzeria. He claims that there's a big puppy dog outside. Puppy dog? Sounds like this is right up my alley as a dog catcher. <laughs> Well, I'm your landlord, and your lease says you can only keep a small dog in this apartment. This is not a small dog. <laughs> oh, cry all you want. I don't care. I'm a landlord. <laughs> oh, okay, you're right. It is a small dog. Yes. He hasn't licked you yet. Garfield, we have to figure out a way to get him out of the city. Uh, maybe into the countryside. I know. Throwing a stick so he can fetch it? But how will that... I get it. Great idea! Oh, 
Ben. Juhu! Wow! Ja! Keep an eye on him, Garfield. We don't want to lose him. How do you lose a mutt the size of a shopping mall? What's the big deal catching a little puppy dog? Come out, little puppy dog, wherever you are! Here, boy! I don't see why the police were making such a big deal. Catching dogs is easy. They're small and harmless and hey! The other men didn't say anything about rain today. Help! Help! I'll never catch another dog again! Leave me alone! <laughs> You see him, Garfield? Maybe we could lure him with a 10-ton doggy treat. Odie! I don't know what happened, but let's not worry about that now. Let's get him home. Hey, there's the truck of that dumb dog catcher who's always chasing us. Don't worry about him. He's too stupid to hurt you. He's a real Neanderthal. To get home in time for the news. They're running a story on my favorite topic, me. Oh, I just realized two bad things. One, we're not going to make it in time. And two, I don't wear a watch. The whole town is talking huh? about the Cape Avenger. Wait, that's the story. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, hi. Hello. Uh, Watching uh, this. And the mysterious feline vigilante known as the Caped Avenger has become an instant celebrity. Ever since his first dramatic appearance at this comic book store only weeks ago, this video of him capturing a thief has gone viral and is now the second most popular cat video on the internet. The most popular, this video entitled The Cutest Cat in the Whole World. Meow, 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 Huh? What happened to the TV? I think your singing killed it. <sighs> well, now we'll never hear the end of that news report. What? Rupert Dorf runs the comic book shop where the Caped Avenger appeared. How's business, Rupert? Great, people are flocking here, hoping to see him in person, and tomorrow the new Caped Avenger action figures arrive. <laughs> <laughs> the Cape Avenger really is. <laughs> Shh! Don't give away my secret identity. 
Do you have a message for the Caped Avenger in case he's watching? Yeah, I hope he'll come to see all his fans tomorrow when his action figure goes on sale. I even built this Caped Avenger signal to call him. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> well, I think the Caped Avenger is a big show off. Uh. I gotta get me one of those spotlights. <laughs> I guess the Caped Avengers fans love everything about him. Yeah, but you know what they really like? They'd all wish he would have a sidekick. A sidekick? <laughs> <laughs> He's right. All the great comic book heroes have sidekicks. Even Ultra Powerful Man gets help from Jeff the Atomic Sparrow. Gee, where could I find a sidekick? Mm. You have to be strong and serious, but with a sense of humor. Odie, you've given me a great idea. Yes, I'm going to hold auditions. Really, Myron? Auditions? That's what I'm hearing. The Cape Avenger will be at the park having trials to be his sidekick. I'm going to go see if he'll pick me. Oh, oh, if the Cape Avenger gets a sidekick, he'll become more popular. His video might even be more watched than mine. What am I going to do? Well, I think we're going to make Look, up there. Yes, it is I. Too good to be true. Too strong to be beaten. Huh? Too fat to be on this branch. It's not me, it's the cape. It adds about 10 pounds. Ouch. Hello, aspiring sidekicks. I suppose you all know who I am. You're the Cape Avenger. Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. Yes, and I am here today to find a faithful sidekick to assist me in my heroic activities. Well, I think I'm going to be a Choose me! Choose me! A super chihuahua. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I can be a superhero! Stop laughing at me! <laughs> Now then, being a superhero isn't easy. You spend your days chasing dangerous criminals, falling from buildings, dodging atomic ray blasts. You spend your nights risking your life and limb every second. It gladdens my heart to see so many of you willing, even eager to put your lives on the line. Hey, what is this job pay? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I thought so. Bye. Huh? Well, no, you're not sidekick material. Goodbye. And don't bother leaving a picture or resume. Why is the Kid Avenger so popular? Just because he's got a cool costume and a cool name. I can't wait to get that what? Cape Avenger action figure tomorrow. Let's go watch his video ten more times. He is, like, so cool. And I am, like, so sick of that video of the disgustingly cute kitten. Oh, what am I going to do? I know. The only one who could beat a superhero is a supervillain. I'll become a supervillain. <laughs> hey, Hercules. Why so glum? Oh, they all laughed at my beautiful costume. I just wanted to be the Cape Avenger sidekick. Hmm. How would you like to be the sidekick to the super villain who will defeat the Cape Avenger? Oh, do I get to wear my superhero costume? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm closing up for the night, Gunther. I'm expecting a big crowd tomorrow. The Cape Avenger action figure's arriving on. Hold you later, Gunther. There's something outside I gotta go investigate. Are you still upset I didn't pick you? I need a great sidekick. The Cape Avenger can't look foolish. The Cape Avenger is looking pretty foolish huh? today. What? Rupert, you say the Cape Avenger has a new arch enemy. It seems that way. I spotted them outside my store. 
And when I checked the Cape Avenger signal I made, this is what I found. Huh? <gasps> the Cape Avenger signal. It makes me look ridiculous. <laughs> Woody, I have to find that super villain and stop him. Now is when I really need a sidekick. Will you be my sidekick? Oh, please, please. All right, all right. I shouldn't have turned you down yesterday. We'll get you a great costume. Good. Let's leap into action. And people are lined up for blocks awaiting the arrival of the new Cape Avenger action figures. The action figures seem to be arriving now. Perfect timing. This is going to be a great day for my comic book store. Twenty cases of Cape Avenger action figures. Sign here. You deal with the mailman, Super Chihuahua. Right. The only thing worse than a Chihuahua, a masked Super Chihuahua. I'm getting rid of all these Cape Avenger action figures. Oh. oh, no, you're not. Yay! It's the Cape Avenger! Whoever you are, you're no match for me and my faithful sidekick, Slurp. And he seems to finally have his very own sidekick. Oh, the Cape Avenger! And now he has a partner. I just decided I don't want to be a supervillain sidekick any longer. Adios! <laughs> Nothing will stop me from getting away with these action figures. Except maybe the fact that I don't know how to drive. Hmm. Oh, what if I push this? Come back, you masked fiend. <laughs> maybe this wasn't the best idea in the world. Hey! <laughs> How about if this van crashes into the trash collection center? Doggy time! And I suppose I have to save you too. Oh, 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 this is not a cute way for me to go! <laughs> Quick, get a shot of that! And the superhero and supervillain landed amidst the crates of the Caped Avenger action figures, which, as it turned out, no one wanted to buy. All interested shifted to the Caped Avenger's sidekick we caught on tape. We're told his name is Slurp, and his fans can't get enough of him. His online video is now the most watched ever, beating out that one of the sickening singing kitten and the one of the Caped Avenger. <laughs> Well, Cape Avenger may not care about being in first place, but I do. I'm taking my act to the streets. Wanna join me? <laughs> sure, why not? Meow, 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 meow,
your dinner. She's a coming right oh. up, my friends. Oh, great, huh? Pookie. It's supper time. A personal sized pizza for Signore Arbuckle. A oh. puppy dog sized pizza for Signore Puppy Dog. <laughs> and oh. Garfield sized pizza for Signore Garfield. Oh. Hey, I distinctly recall ordering a large. Oh, oh well. Bon appetit, Pookie, my gastronomic friend. Huh. Look at that yum, cool yum, teddy yum, bear, yum. Dad. Eat your pizza before it gets cold, Jack. <sighs> oh, that was a nice, tasty pizza. On the small side, but tasty. Oh, what a shame, Pookie. You haven't touched your pizza. Well, we can't let it go to waste now, can we? <laughs> Boy, Dad, that's the neatest looking teddy bear I ever saw. I wish I had one like that. Really? You think other kids would want one? Sure. What's that, Pookie? Oh, now you're hungry. Well, I guess we'll just have to order another pizza then. Oh. Hey, I remember you. Arbuckle, right? How much for the teddy bear? Uh, I'm sorry? The teddy bear. I want to buy it. Oh. What? Uh, no, you can't have Pookie. No, 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 no. Not for all the lasagna in Italy. I'm sorry, Mr. Allwork. My cat oh. loves Pookie. And, huh? well, I just can't take him away because your son wants him. I don't want to keep it, Arbuckle. I'm CEO of Allwork Toys, a very large company. I want to make duplicates of it and sell them around the world. Here's how much I'll give you as an advance. Huh? Are you allowed to have that many numbers on one check? Oh. Mr. Allwork, you have a deal. Pookie is going to be a bestseller, Arbuckle. You and I are going to make a bundle. Hear that, Pookie? I always knew you were destined for greatness. What's that? You want to celebrate with five more pizzas? Well, if you insist. We'll have that duplicated and returned to you in no time. Take good care of him. What did you call him, Pookie? Well, we measured and studied every bit of him. Here is the duplicate prototype we have created. He's... he's perfect! No, it isn't. Kids today have computers. They want high-tech, state-of-the-art. Does take the original back to Arbuckle. Professor, I want you to upgrade and improve this toy. You know what to do. Indeed I do. I shall give you... Teddy bear of the future! And sales of the new toy known as Robo Pookie are setting new oh, records. Right? They just went on sale this morning and already thousands have been sold. I'm going to be rich! <laughs> and I'm going to be even richer. I bought commercial time in this news broadcast. Oh, Fluffy, why do you just sit there all day and do nothing? Are your children bored with their teddy bears? I sure am! Well, here comes the teddy bear of the future, Robo Pookie. Huh? Robo Pookie can sing, dance, exercise, play games, clean your room, and speak 17 yeah. languages. <laughs> Robo Pookie is the best nanny ever. And so the princess married the elevator repairman, and the uh, happily ever after. Goodbye. Oh. 
I don't think you should see this. Robot Pookie is your child's very own private entertainer. You definitely shouldn't see this. Stay in here until this is all over. To me or not to me? That is the question. That's Robo Pookie, coming soon to a store near you. You're gonna love me and buy me. Whoa! This is awesome, Mr. Allwork. <laughs> there was nothing wrong with the original Pookie. Does. Let him have the one I brought. Here you are, sir. Huh? Hi, <laughs> I'm Robo Pookie. Who wants to play with me? <laughs> Two playmates with one brain between them, and it takes batteries. <laughs> I've had enough of this imposter. <laughs> the nerve of trying to improve on the real Pookie. Except no substitutes. Each one has a computer chip to download software updates and to communicate with other robo -pookies. It's great, Mr. Allwork. I can't imagine how anything could go wrong. Sorry. No, you're not. Go away. Sorry, I was just trying to help. Huh? <laughs> Who is that? Huh? Do you know what time it is? Yes, it's 4 06 a.m. in New Delhi, India. It's 2 36 in the afternoon. <laughs> Would you like your finger pain? I just want to entertain you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In here, he won't find us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? No, no, this is the real one, the good one. Huh? The one who doesn't do anything. Pick a card! No. Any card! Yeah! yeah. Leave us alone. Let us sleep. But I am your friend. I just want to help you and entertain you. <gasps> he looks just like me. Huh? He is. I salute you, a worthy forebear. I kiss your feet in respect. I've been trying to get people to treat me like that for years. I will follow the wishes of the grand forebear. Great. The grand forebear says he wants you to let us get some sleep. As you wish, I shall remain here and bask in the greatness of the Grand Forebearer. Fine. You stay there and bask while we go back to bed. I cannot keep your glory all to myself. Attention, fellow robo -pokies. I have found the Grand Forebearer. Repeat, I have found the Grand Forebearer. Robo-Pookies of the world, use your global positioning systems to track the location of my transmission! Huh? It's 5 a.m. Who's ringing the doorbell at this hour? We are here to pay our respects to the Grand Forebear! We are here to pay our respects to the Grand Forebear! to the cat. Oh. Attention, my subjects. I command you all to follow me and the handsome cat. Ah. Repeat, follow me and 
a handsome cat. Do you understand? Yes, a glorious I got a call that a lot of Robo Pookies were being returned to my factory. But Dad, don't toys you make get returned all the time? Yes, but usually they don't march in by themselves. <laughs> They're all coming back! Every one of them! Every one of them that we made and sold, I'm going to have to give refunds on every one of them. Does that mean I'm not rich? You'll be lucky if you can afford a yo-yo. Huh? I, I should <gasps> never have gotten into this pookie business. I like mine. That's the prototype we made, the one that didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm glad I have it. Why? What do you do with it? I don't know. Just love it, I guess. <laughs> well... At least I made one kid happy. And I guess I realized what I love about Pookie. He's a lot like me. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. idea that I like hot dogs? Another one. I'm sorry, pal. I'm a lot of hot dogs. Here's your bill. Here's my wallet. Garfield, I said we could stop for a light snack. 244 hot dogs is not a light snack. They are if you leave off the chili. Good afternoon, Mr. Edge. I keep telling you, Joe, call me Tyler. I'll have the usual. <sighs> Did that man say he was Tyler Edge? I didn't hear a word after sorry I'm all out of hot dogs. <laughs> Here you go. One six sausage sandwich. Thanks. Mr. Edge, Tyler, I don't have change of a thousand dollar bill. Keep the change. Buy yourself a house. <laughs> yeah. That is Tyler Edge. I didn't hear a word after six sausage sandwich. Oh. Cartoonist, huh? <laughs> what are you drawing? <laughs> oh, nothing really. I'm kind of doodling, you know, looking for a new comic strip character. You're Tyler Edge, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm not Tyler Edge. I'm the Tyler Edge. <laughs> Tyler Edge, Tyler Edge. Hmm, that name sounds familiar. Odie, do you know who Tyler Edge is? Of course not. You never know anything. Wait here. Hey. Oh, sorry, I need to borrow your computer for a second. Tyler Edge, Tyler Edge, Tyler Edge. Ah, here we are. Tyler Edge made his first zillion dollars when he was 16 years old. He quickly built the world's largest empire of video games, cartoon shows, comic books, and major motion pictures. They call him the man who knows exactly what today's young audiences want to buy. Thanks. I just had to look that up. The way you draw is kind of interesting. Tell you what, what did you say your name was? John Arbuckle. Oh, not a good name. But okay, tell you what, bring me a concept, and if I think today's audience will go for it, I'll make you a very rich man. Huh? Ooh, I give you one tip. Draw and write what you know. Oh. Hmm. Guys, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. I want to go right home and go to work. Okay, but on the way home, could we stop for more hot dogs? I'm thinking maybe a college student 
who get stung by a spider and develop spider abilities. Nah, no one would ever read a comic book like that. John is having this thing called writer's block. Do you know what writer's block is, Odie? It's when you stare stupidly at a blank page for days and forget to feed your adorable pets. No. <laughs> a gerbil. A crime-fighting gerbil. No, no, a horse. A and set in the Stone Age. <laughs> no, two horses and a sailor. And the sailor's a robot. <laughs> and they're all fish. <laughs> and radioactive. It's been done. <laughs> I'm a failure. A failure. I can't come up with any new, fresh ideas. <laughs> come on, Odie. Let's give him a new, fresh idea. Why, us, of course. <laughs> oh. I get it. You think I should drop a comic book about you guys? The man is clear on the concept. Oh, it would never work. A comic about a cat who eats lasagna and sleeps all day? And a dog with a long tongue? <laughs> Who would ever be interested in something like that? <sighs> if I took an idea like that to Tyler Edge, he'd throw huh? me right out of his... I give you one tip. Draw and write what you know. Huh? What you know? Ah. <laughs> I could do a comic about a cat who eats lasagna and sleeps all day. Yes. And a puppy with a long tongue that fetches sticks all the time. Yes. And I could set it in the future and make you both zombie penguins. No. <laughs> oh, you're right. No zombie <sighs> penguins. This is the greatest idea in the world. And I have so much material for it. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to look at my idea. I hope you like it. If I like it, the world will like it. Lay it on me. Huh? Well, it's about a fat orange cat. Hey. And uh, there's a pea brain puppy. Hey, here are some drawings I did. They're on paper. Well, yeah, drawings are usually on paper. I can't relate to paper, <gasps> Arbuckle. I have to see Ooh. things animated. Let's go to my animation department. Huh? <sighs> oh, you mean you're going to have your team of animators animate my comic strip? <laughs> That's fantastic! Team of animators? Don't be ridiculous. Huh? We got rid of animators years ago. It's all done by computers now. Why pay people to sit and draw all day? Can you believe it, guys? You're going to be animated! Us? Cartoon characters? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who would have thought? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. We're working on having the computer create a solid hologram of a character. But that's in the future. Ooh. Right now, it's building computer models based on your drawings. Oh. Yeah. All right, done. Now let's see what an episode might look like. No, I will not go through the stick so you can fit. Boring! I think it's pretty good. <laughs> well, that's because you aren't me. First thing, the color of the cat is all wrong. <laughs> Maybe blue or beige or... Hey, polka dots are popular. They look like I have measles. Wait, wait, pink. Whoa. Ah. Pink is very big this year. I'm hearing they may even make the sky pink. Do you think Garfield oh. should be pink like that and... I like it. I like it. <sighs> now we have to do something about that voice of his. I want some lasagna. Nah, it doesn't fit him. I'll try some different ones. Here. I want some lasagna. 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 <laughs> I want some lasagna. <laughs> but I know what we need. A celebrity voice. I thought I was a celebrity. 
It's very popular these days. Animated characters voiced by movie stars. I'll be back for more lasagna. I'm starting to really not like this. Well, okay. Now, what about Odie? Huh? I'm thinking let's lose the dog. Hasta la vista, Odie. <laughs> but, but Odie is an important part of the idea. Uh, nobody wants to see dogs. How many hit cartoon shows can you name that have a dog? <laughs> All of them. For that matter, I'm not so sure about a cat. <laughs> no. 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 I don't think so. Wrong. Definitely not. Maybe a cat, but a, a different design. Couldn't we just let Garfield be Garfield? Wait! <gasps> I have it! I have it, Arbuckle! The most awesome today vision! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Is right. Tyler, what is it? What is it, Arbuckle? It's the idea that's gonna make me another jillion dollars and you a couple of bucks. I think I'll take my idea somewhere else. Yay, John. Wait, you can't leave. You're not getting my full vision. Here, here, I'll create a solid hologram of them to show you. I thought you said that process wasn't perfected. <laughs> well, it isn't, but I have to make you see what I see. See? See how awesome it is? <gasps> no! It's horrible! Get rid of it! Get rid of me! I get rid of you! Get out of here! Is he gone? He destroyed the computer that projected his hologram. You'll never see him again. Good. From the neck down, he was pretty ugly. My entire computer animation department is destroyed. It'll take like years to rebuild it. What'll I do till then? Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe hire huh? some human beings who know how to draw? You just might be onto something, Arbuckle. <laughs> Lucky my drawing survived. I'm going to go look for someone who will like my idea enough to keep it the way it is. Well, good luck, but I think you're wasting your time. What do you think, guys? Oh, I don't know. Odie, do you think anyone would watch a cartoon show about a cat that eats lasagna and a puppy with a long tongue? Yeah, me neither. Great morning. It's not Monday, and I got my usual 19 hours of sleep. <laughs> and John has breakfast ready. The only thing that could possibly ruin this day is if Nermal shows up. As I was saying, the only thing that could possibly ruin this day is if Nermal shows up. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Where's Nermal? He's not here. What? He's oh. not here! What do you mean he's not here? Didn't he get a copy of the script for this episode? Right here, see? On page one. I say the only thing that could possibly ruin this day is if Nermal shows up, and then he walks in and says, Yes, Garfield, it's me. The cutest kitty cat in the whole world. Blah, blah, blah. So where is he? 
remember the last episode? You mailed him to Abu Dhabi! Oh, right. <laughs> that was good. So, I guess we can't do this script, right? Guess not. Okay, everyone, let's strike this set! Huh? We're not doing the script, Odie. No, I'm trying to figure out what we can do to entertain all these people who are watching us. <laughs> no, we're not doing that either. We're gonna answer some of my mountains of fan mail. Could I have one mountain of my fan mail, please? Coming up. Postman, could we have a mountain of fan mail for Mr. Garfield, please? <laughs> Here's your mount. <laughs> Herman, if you're gonna be on camera here, we need to touch up your makeup. You don't touch me. You're always doing terrible things to me. Dropping me in trapdoors, flinging me over the house, putting live cows in huh? my mail truck. Oh. But that's just huh? on the show. In real life, you don't like to torment mailmen, do you? <laughs> All right, then, go ahead. Uh, perfect. Well, thanks. I should learn to trust you more. <laughs> okay, Odie. Grab a letter at random. Thanks, Odie. Dear Garfield, when will you stop giving that poor mailman a hard time? You mangy cat signed the National Mailman's Union. Oops, <laughs> wrong address. That wasn't for me. Let's move on to the next one. Dear Garfield, would you share your lasagna with me? No. Next. Ah, here we go. Dear Garfield, I have this assignment for school. What is the difference between cats and dogs? I was wondering if you could help me here. Signed, Damien. P.S. I love your work. Thank you, Damien. I love my work, too. <laughs> All right, kids. No talking or texting in the classroom. Got it? Good. Here we go. Here we see the dumbest creature in the entire animal kingdom. A dog. <gasps> I said no tucking in the classroom, and that includes barks of disapproval. And here is the finest living thing that ever existed. A true marvel. A cat. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You're too kind. Thanks, Rosie. That's enough. Here's the next part of our lesson. Hi, guys. I'm home. This is the person who feeds the cat and dog and has somehow deluded himself into believing he is their master. Observe how each of the pets reacts when he comes home. The dog becomes hysterical and noisy and slobbers all over his feeder. Yeah, ridiculous, isn't it? Now let's look at the same scene with the cat. Notice how unlike the dog, the cat remains cool, calm, and collected. Eh, big, fat, hairy deal. Notice how the cool, calm, and collected cat is cool, calm, and collected? He doesn't make a ridiculous fool over himself like certain dogs do. What do you mean there's more to the scene? I showed the important part. No, I'm not going to show the rest of the scene. Hey, 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 no! And how's my furry little friend today? Oh, meow, meow. Oh, meow, meow. Oh, he just loves having his little tummy rub. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Ooh. Who's a good little kitty? Who's a good little kitty? All right, enough of this. Stop. Cut. Grr. <laughs> oh, so you think you made me look bad, do you? Uh -huh. Well, you did. Now it's my turn to make you look bad. You all know that stupid game called Fetch the Stick? Well, here's what happens when you ask a dog to fetch the stick. You want to fetch the stick, Odie? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Odie, go fetch the stick. Huh? Good boy. You want me to throw the stick again? Huh? Huh? Dogs not only fetch the stick, they insist on fetching the stick. Oh. Oh. 
Again. And again. <laughs> See? Utterly pointless. Now, what will a cat do when the guy who feeds him, and not enough, I might add, throws a stick? You want to fetch the stick, Garfield? No. Okay, Garfield. Go fetch the stick. <sighs> Come on, Garfield. Fetch! Notice that no matter how many times he's asked, the cat will not waste his time fetching the stick. Mm. Just fetch the stick. Go fetch the stick. Please fetch the stick. It's just one little stick. You just go, you get the stick, you bring it back. How much time could that take? The cat will never fetch the stick because he knows there's no point in fetching a stick unless it's got, like, a lollipop attached to it. Please fetch the stick. Please, 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 please fetch the stick. I just want you to fetch the stick. Here. Right there. <sighs> See? It's not so hard. Anyone can do it. Hey, if you wanted the stick, you shouldn't have thrown it away. <laughs> and continuing on the same topic, here's a letter from Sam Funny Name from Made Up Place, Nebraska. He asks, what do cats and dogs do all day? Well, Mr. Funny Name, cats sleep. Dogs chase their tails. Cats eat. Dogs chase their tails. Cats sleep. Dogs chase their tails. Do they ever catch them? Oh, that's the best part. Watch. <laughs> Meanwhile, cats eat. Well, Odie, I think I've made my point. Odie? Odie! <clears throat> Dear Odie, <laughs> My mother says cats are much cleaner than dogs, but I think dogs are cleaner. Which of us is right? I'll handle this. Your mother's right. Mothers are always right. The dog is a notoriously filthy creature. Watching a dog rolling in mud is a revolting sight. Uh... Ah! Odie! Bad dog, bad filthy dog. Look what you've done. Why can't you be as clean as Garfield? He's always clean and spotless. See? What do you have to say to that, grimy one? Huh? Play more of the scene? No. There's nothing more to see. There's... Yes. I am always so clean and spotless. The door. Could it be? It is. Delivery from Vito's Pizzeria. Hi. Yes. Odie, remember I said I wished you could be as clean as Garfield? Forget I said that. Okay, so maybe I'm not the most delicate eater in the world. There's the understatement of the year. Normal, where have you been? Where did you send me? Hmm, Abu Dhabi. Yeah, and that's where I've been. <laughs> Where's the set? Why aren't we doing today's script? We had to cancel that script because you weren't here. I've been answering all my fan mail instead. Fan mail? You get fan mail? Of course I get fan mail. Mm -hmm. I get lots of fan mail, see? Well, that's awesome, Garfield. Hey, I want to answer some of my fan mail, too. Could I have my fan mail, please? Postman, would you bring Nermal's fan mail to the stage? <laughs> Bet you Nermal doesn't get fan mail like us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you touch me, Garfield! 
You're going back to Abu Dhabi, Nirmal. Let's see how much fat meal you get there, Nirmal. <laughs> well, I guess that's the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Don't write a fan letter. Send an email instead. I don't have to carry those. I really liked it. Finally, we had an episode of this show where I didn't wind up looking foolish.